hello welcome to the channel today in this tutorial i will show you how to design this pci in FreeCAD, and you'll use these dimensions here to create the model if you want this drawing you can download it on the grab card site okay so here first we create a new file here we'll go to part design bench create body and create a new sketch you can create the new sketch in x plane or y plane i select y plane Okay, here go to sketch geometries and select this polyline tool. Zoom out and now click in this horizontal line and draw the sketch in this way. Now press M three times and you get this arc and now two times. Okay, and now click in this point here. Now select this vertical constraint and constraint this line here. Okay, and now what you have to do is to give dimensions for this sketch. So in this page here, first we can see a radius of 70 for this arc. And, and for this wall here, we have a diameter of 75. So we go to this sketch and here we select this constraint click in this arc and here we set 7 ok and we select this horizontal distance tool now click this point and now this origin point and here we set we set this dimension 37.5 millimeters and next here we see the dimension for this vertical line here 10 so we select this vertical distance tool and we change here to 10 millimeters and okay the pad for no the length for this sketch will be 160 because here we have 8 for the pad of this part here so okay here we select this line here and we set 160 okay and next we select this horizontal distance tool and we'll constrain the dimension for this line and this distance here so here first we see this dimension 6 so select this origin point and now this point here and set 6 okay and and next here for for this line here we see a range of 100 this arc here so here we select this point and now this origin point and you set 100 okay and for the distance between this point to this origin point we'll set we'll set this dimension here for the cycle so here we select this point and now this origin point and the dimension will be sorry guys will be okay we have this dimension here so this sketch is full constrained so what to do now is to close this sketch press home and now select this revolution tool press home again and now you see this so click ok and now we select this edge here and go to fillet tool the dimension for this fillet we can see here is 10 so we change here to 10 and click ok and next we select this face here and create a new sketch okay in this sketch we go to sketch geometries and here we select this tool here Click in this origin point and draw this, this sketch. In this, in this page we see this dimension 56. Okay, and here we have this wall here. This cycle have a diameter of 75. Okay, so we come back to this sketch. And here we select this tool here, click in this line, and here we set 56. 
and now we select this vertical constraint and we constrain this point to this origin point okay and now we select this cycle tool click in this origin point and draw this cycle now select this constraint tool click in this cycle and here we set the diameter to 75 and now close this sketch and go to this pad tool here the length of the pad is 8 we can see here the value is 8 so change here to 8 and now click OK and next here we select this we select this face here and we go to this icon to create a new sketch switch to section view and select cycle tool now click in this vertical line and draw this cycle so here we can see that the distance between the origin point to the center of this cycle here is 9 okay so here we select this vertical distance tool click in this origin point and now the center point of this cycle and we set 9 and now we see let's see the diameter of this cycle so here we see we see a diameter of we see this radius here for this arc so here we select this tool and we change this dimension to for this dimension here so close this sketch and now go to this pocket tool and here we'll set through all check this option reverse it and now we get this pocket here and now click ok and go to combo view select model and select this last operation this pocket and go to polar pattern tool and here we change to 6 and click ok and now we select this edge here and go to fillet tool in this page we see that the value for the range of this fillet is 5 so we change here to 5 and now click in this add button and add this edge and now click ok so here we see these these fillets okay so now the next step is to create these parts here so in the next sketch we will create a cycle with these with these ranges here 22.5 so we select this face here and we create a new sketch okay here we switch to section view and now select the cycle tool and draw the cycle in this vertical line select this tool and set the diameter of this cycle to 45 and now select this vertical distance tool click in this point and now this point and here set 90 and close this sketch now we go to pop to pad tool the value for this pad will be here we have 35 but here we have 10 so the pad for the length of this pad will be 25 so we change here to 25 and now click ok select this pad then go to polar pattern tool and here we set six again and click ok now select this edge here and go to fillet tool and now let's see the radius for this fillet here we have four so here what you have to do is to is to change this dimension to four and now click in the z button and add these edges
and now click OK. Press home and now what we have to do is to create a new sketch in this space here to create to create these these walls here. So here we have a diameter of 16 here for the cycle. So here select this face here and select this face and click in this icon to create a new sketch. Switch to section view and here we we'll select the cycle tool. Click in this vertical line and now select this constraint tool. We change the diameter here to 16 and now select this vertical distance tool and click in this point and now the center point of the cycle and here we set 90 and close the sketch so again go to now we go to pocket tool set to goal and and now click ok and next we select this pocket here and go to polar pattern tool again and here we change to 6 and OK. So now we can see this part here. OK guys, what I can say is that this model is finished. Thank you for watching this video. If you are not subscribed in this channel, please subscribe. OK, and you can download the drink for this model here.